Yeah, hi guys, welcome back to Marathon CrossFit here and today it's after a week of travel that I'm back to training. So I traveled down to DMX Go in Cologne for business, which is basically about digital mar digital marketing. So, I mean, that's what I do for a living. And uh, when I came back, I was a bit like, ah, you know, where's the training going? Did it go anywhere good? Well, what you see me doing here is 130 for five. Um, it would have been a five by five by 145 after a week of rest. Well, more or less because of travel. I just did squats and push-ups and all of that stuff. So I think the week went actually for that. It went actually good um, because... Here we go with 157.5 kg on the deadlift and I'm actually wrapping that out for 5. So that is still 2.5 kilograms up from uh, 14 days ago. So that is good even though I had a week of, uh, of a break in between. And um, I found whenever I was on business travel and wherever I am on business travel, if you just keep the routine going, if you just do something like, um, I don't know, push-ups, sit-ups, a bit of running, um, you know, just don't uh, yeah, slouch on the couch, if you so may speak, um, then you actually can get back into your training uh, quite okay and not take that much of a deload. Um, also, I found when I did strong lifts that the app also didn't rec uh, didn't ask for, uh, for a deload. So it works. Um, so yeah, but but the big but is um, you see me wearing a belt here on the recovery day at 125 kg for two by five. So I definitely had a lot more pain going on this week um, than I usually would have on a Texas method week. So that's, I think, the price you have to pay if you take uh, a week out or a week off or a week of travel when you go back into it's just uh, into your routine just your hips and everything is not as well oiled as it used to be so I didn't do enough of stretching I think before I went into the week um, maybe also a bit of an overload on the first day maybe I should have gone 5 kgs or 10 kgs down just to spare me the hassle of the pain so here we have a 10 110 kg for 2 by 5 that is the last set on the recovery day also good because it is also going 5 kgs up from uh, before um, and uh, on the recovery day uh, without any belt on and also without any wrist wraps um, I like to keep the recovery days if I'm not in pain without any belt and this is the set I'm actually quite stoked about so this is 160 kg for four repetitions it should have been five um, and uh, I think that is a good thing because um, my current one rep max maximum leaks is at uh, 170 kg and um, that I'm now moving 160 for four and hopefully next week then for five um, is I personally think is progress. Um, I mean that is for big plates so uh, you know three 20 kg plates on each side and one 10 kg on each side and as I want to progress to a 200 kg squat um, you know we're moving in the right direction here. Um, so then I just did a single afterwards just to make the full five um, you know just experiment with stuff and don't leave volume on the street uh, on Texas method and I tried to go as deep as I possibly could on that one rep on that one repetition um, that I have had to like yeah basically add up to. Um, then we have 80 kg overhead press. I tried to do it for two, but as you see, I failed. Um, but that is a personal record, so that is also good after taking a week off, more or less. Then pull ups also up by one repetition from seven to eight um, with the wider grip, so also tra uh, tracking in the right direction up and to the right. And then in the end, I did some medicine ball throws. Now, I had a lot to do um, after the venue and after the event um, uh, following up on clients. So that is when real life happens when you're training. You know, so I didn't do a lot of uh, K-band training this week. Actually, 
not at, none at all because I didn't get uh, into the gym five times this week, only two times. And tomorrow I'm traveling down to Munich to Oktoberfest and also to meet some clients. So you see, you know, keep pushing hard um, and um, just, you know, uh, get the time in wherever you can, even if it is less than you usually do. Um, so that you keep progressing and then here's some medicine ball throws I like them a lot they're a lot of fun they're also good to de-stress like um, when you whenever you feel like um, you got a lot of a lot of psychological stress build up in, in you um, I think medicine ball throws are just the best to get that out because just slam that uh, ball as hard as you can into the wall or as you can see uh, next into the ground and you will come home and you will be a lot more relaxed than when you went into the gym, I promise you. Um, it's also good just um, bear in mind here that I'm keeping the medicine ball below the hips. So um, always go back to start posi starting position to get the most out of the medicine ball throws for ab training. Same here when you do the medicine ball throws to the ground get really as much tension as possible into your body before you release the medicine ball with full force to the ground. So that's that for this week. If you like the content, please share, tell your friends, please subscribe, and uh, I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.